Hey there, it is Lane Amon of FastLane.com. And I got a question the other day from a friend of mine who asked me, how do I write an awesome About Us page? And that is what this video is about. The simple way to create awesome About Us or About Me pages for your website, for your profile, for your LinkedIn, whatever it might be. And we're going to be using the C3 approach to copy, which is my proprietary approach to writing great copy. So here's the, the question I got from my friend. I have a question for you. How do you write a client focused about us page? Here's mine. And she gave me the link. I hate that I highlight myself, which a lot of people face, right? <laughs> she says it's an old version. I'm not sure the best way to update it. Do you have any quick insights you can toss my way? Karen? Yes, Karen, I do. Stay tuned. So I want to introduce you to the C3 approach to writing copy. This works for blog posts, this works for emails, this works for sales pages, and today we're going to apply it to the About Us page on your website. So the C3 approach involves three interlocking areas, um, guiding principles, and they are clear, compelling, and creative. What you write should hit all three of these circles and be in that sweet spot right there in the middle, and I'm gonna walk you through this right now. So what I mean about clear is that it's very, very apparent what you're trying to say. It's been said over and over and again in marketing and proved through research that a confused mind does nothing. So if your audience, if your reader is um, confused or befuddled, bemused, all those words, they're not gonna do anything. So you have to be crystal clear about what you want them to know and what you want them to do. That's pr the primary uh, guiding principle when you're writing content. Next, it needs to be compelling. It needs to move the reader or the audience member to the next right step. We'll be talking more about that and how you decide what that next right step is, but compelling is the second element. And then the third element is creative. It needs to be out of the ordinary. It can't be something that they could read on anybody's web page. It can't be something that they could read on anybody's blog or that could come out of anybody's mouth. It's gotta be unique to you. So let's go through those one at a time. Here's how to nail the C3 approach. First, start with clarity. Before I write anything, I decide what do I really want to say? And you can get that down in just a sentence. It should be no more than what would fit on a, a post-it note. What is it that you're trying to, to convey to the reader, to the audience member? And um, what do you really want them to know? If you could choose just if bottom line, if you could just say it directly, what would you say? And when it comes to About Us pages, um, what I want you to ask yourself is, what do you want your potential client or existing customer to know or believe after reading this? And here are some examples. For instance, you could want them to believe that I was born to do this. So for instance, if you are a, an artist, you might say, hey, I've been, uh, you know, I sold my first painting at three. <laughs> or if you are a writer like I am, you might say, I started writing um, creative creative writing in kindergarten and then I was on the school newspaper and then I was in speech and debate and then I worked for the college newspaper and then I did this um, and again this isn't the final version you wouldn't just spew all these things at people but what I want you to get at at this stage is what is it that you're trying to tell people that you've done this before and in that case you might highlight some of the the successful um, clients you've worked with maybe you want them to know that I can do this for you and again, you could share examples of when you worked with clients just like them. Or I'm not like the other guys. There's something different about me or the way that I do business that benefits you. And it might be one or more of these, it might be something different, but I want you to be super, super clear at this stage what it is that you're trying to convey. What is the high level message that you want your potential client or customer to take away after reading your about page? It might be, I've got 40 years of experience. It might be, I've never lost a trial case. It might be, um, I'm known for uh, giving the most entertaining keynote speeches, whatever it is. Be very, very clear on that. Now, this isn't going to be your final about page. This is just you getting clear on what it is that you're trying to convey. You have a message you're trying to share. What is that message? You've got to start there. That's why this is step number one. Step number two, is moving on to being compelling. What do you really want them to do? So now that they know this, now that they know that you're known for um, giving the best keynote speeches, what do you want them to do? Do you want them to book a call with you? Do you want them to hire you on that um, right there? Do you want them to download your report? What is that next step? And what that next step 
is that next right step depends on two things. It depends on where they're coming from and where they're going to. So let me explain. If somebody is coming to your about page as a tire kicker, um, they, they read about you in a recent Forbes highlight uh, article profile or something like that, and they come over to your website, they're not really familiar with you, they're not really familiar with your business, and let's say you offer um, uh, packages, you're an accountant, and you offer full package audits for seven-figure businesses, and your price tag on those goes into the, the five figures. So, you know, $25,000 is what somebody's going to spend on you. Chances of them hiring you from reading your about page are very low. Instead, what you want to do is get them to the next right step. What is now that they know who you are and what's unique about you? What would the next step be in that process? Is it to download a report? Is it to fill in a, a, um, to request an appointment with you? Is it to, buy your book? Is it to download a free copy of your book? You've got to know what that next step is. You can't just bring them to your about page, give them all this great information and leave them there. You need to know where they're going to. But again, if they've already had a phone conversation with you and they come to your page after that phone conversation and they really just want that next piece of information to affirm their decision before they hire you, their next step might be different than someone who's just coming from a Google ad or from a, an article or something like that. So you need to know how people are finding you and where in the process are they coming to your web page and what information do they need next to move closer to a buying decision with you. So you can see here there is no one size fits all Mad Libs approach to writing a great about, about us page where I just give you fill in a noun, fill in an adjective. It's got to be really strategic and meaning that it's part of an overall marketing and sales campaign, not just this standalone piece. And that's why these three elements are so important. The clear, the compelling and the creative, the compelling. You got to get into the next right step, but you can't know what the next step is until you know where they're coming from. So decide what you want them to do next and make sure you, you tell them that along the way. Finally, the third piece is being creative about this. How can you say what you want to say? How can you convey your message in a unique way or with an unexpected example? Again, when I'm working with my clients, um, anybody from Tony Robbins to Ryan Levesque to Grant Cardone or Frank Kern or whoever it might be, whoever I'm working with, I want the words on the page to be something only they could say. Now, if you know Let's say Frank Kern, he's a very, very different guy with a very, very different voice than Ryan Levesque, who uh, studied neurosurgeon, uh, not neurosurgeon, but um, neurology or neuropsychology or something at Brown University. Frank Kern says he's like a redneck um, and doesn't like to wear shoes. Like they're two very, very different guys. So if I were writing their about pages for them, I would use very, very different language. I'd use different examples. I'd use a different tone. And you want to make sure that what you're using fits your brand. So for instance, um, if you love NASCAR and you your idea of a hot Saturday night is going to the NASCAR races or going to the fairgrounds and watching, you know, riding, riding your dirt bike or whatever it might be and grabbing a slice of pizza, you might not want to use a really highfalutin, you know, $10 vocabulary word laden about page. You want to make it down to earth because you're down to earth. It's got to fit your brand and creativity depends on what your brand is. You don't want to throw in you know, F-bombs, if you are somebody who's more refined and would in real life never use those kinds of, of words, or if you're a pastor, you might not want to be dropping the F-bomb on your about page. Then again, you might want to because you're different. You're not like the other guys. I don't know, but it's got to fit your tone and it's got to be creative and it's got to be something only you could put together. So you got to make it interesting. Catch people's interest. Don't just make it like a resume. Don't make it a list of, of achievements and in Fourth grade, you won the spelling bee, which, by the way, I did. Um, <laughs> just kidding. Not really. <laughs> I did get the best girl speller award for fourth grade. Um, you want to make it interesting. And for me, for my kind of personality, I actually might want to add something like that in because I am very playful. Very, I don't take myself too seriously. I work with these huge brands, but you know, I also want people to know I was born to do this. That's part of my messaging. And so I might use that but it might not work for you. So you've got to make some strategic decisions there. 
some ways to be creative. Use stories because stories from your life come from your life. Nobody else can use them because they're your stories. Anecdotes, anecdotes are really just short stories. Um, unusual word choices. Use unexpected things. Um, like the fourth grade girl spell, speller, I bet you would never expect to see that on my about page and you wouldn't find it on anybody else's about page. That would be unique to me and it would be interesting and it would be something that you're always gonna remember about me now, right? So again, we go through the clear. Be very clear on what your message is for your page. Be compelling, know where they're coming from, where they're going to, what that next right step is and invite them to take that next right step. Three, when you are conveying your information, make it creative, tell stories about it. Don't just say, I am the best keynote speaker ever. Give them a story about the time you spoke to um, the, the insurance brokers industry, and I just totally made that up. I don't even know if there is one, but the Insurance Brokers Industry Association, and you had these straight-laced insurance actionaries like dying laughing and crying and standing on their chairs, hooting and hollering, give stories that illustrate what it is you want to com convey to people. So the best thing to do for you now probably is to take a look at your current about page. And what is it that, you know, instead of starting from scratch, look at it now and see, is it clear what you're trying to convey? Is it compelling in terms of making them, you know, inviting them to take that next right step? And is it creative? If, it, if not, start with the clarity piece. Decide what it is you want them to know about you after reading that. They don't have to know everything about you. It doesn't need to be 2,000 words. Nobody's ever gonna read that. Make it short, make it to the point, make it clear what you're trying to convey, and then invite them to the next step, whatever that next step might be, to book a call, to download a report, to watch a highlight reel from you, to buy your, your low-priced uh, offer, whatever it is. And then go back through and add in the stories, the anecdotes, um, the, the unexpected elements that are really going to make it come alive and make sure that holds true to your tone and your personality and your brand's personality. So there you have it. If I can help with anything else, please feel free to reach out. You can find me at fastlane.com. I'm also on Facebook at facebook.com slash the fast lane. Send your communication, copy, uh, strategy questions my way, and I'll be glad to help you out. Thanks so much.